day that you say goodbye and that'll be the day when you make me cry you say you're gonna leave you know it's a lot cause that'll be the day when i die will you me all your loving and your turtle darling with all your hugs and kisses and your money too will you you say you love me baby that's why you tell me that that someday that i'll be through well that'll be this song hey how you doing justin here in this lesson today we are checking out uh, that'll be the day by buddy holly kind of simplified open chord version the original one has a capo at the fifth fret which i will run through with you and i'll run through the intro but as usual, we're going to start real simple, which is what I'd recommend you do as well. We're going to be playing four strums the bar. I'm just going to go straight into uh, playing the chords for this one. If you've got the songbook, it'll be nice and simple, and you'll be able to play along right away. If not, you want to write the chords out as we go through. We're going to be starting on a D chord. So we'd have like a three, four. Well, D will be the day that D says goodbye. Well, A will be the day. That ace makes me cry You D, you're gonna leave You D, it's a lot cause A, two, three, four E, seven, two, A Then it's into the verse You D, me all your loving and your A Your turtle dove and whatever that is D, your hugs and kisses and your a chord to a hill you did You know you love me, baby hey, That's why you tell me, baby B7, that someday That E7 will be through Well, back to the chorus again I just realised I'm singing some of the wrong words But that doesn't matter, does it? Who, what are words, you know? Um, that's pretty much the tune, you know? It's, it's a pretty straight kind of a song, you probably want to be doing a bit of a shuffle kind of strumming pattern on this. So like a one trick, left two trick, left three. You'd have to count it. Count it to start off with, say one trick, left two trick, left three trick, left four trick, left. So it's really, it's just a feel, you know? We use that kind of counting thing, that triplet counting to kind of give you the right flavor of the rhythm really. But what you want to be doing is getting that feel of it right. Now the little stop here. A, two, three, four, E, A. If you want to do that with a fancier rhythm, A. You just have to practice making sure that you stay in time and doing a down, up, 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 down, up. That's, it's, it's kind of important to get, once you're on that kind of rhythm, remember that you've got to keep your hand moving, even when you stop. So, it's keeping that hand moving that'll kind of keep you in the flow of the tune. So that's a, a pretty important bit there as well. So uh, the guitar solo is a 12 bar blues. So uh, four bars of A, two of D, two of A, E7, D7, A and E7. Um, it's not a particularly hard guitar solo either if you put the capo on the fifth fret and have a go at transcribing it. Um, now, before I go on and actually put the capo on and show you the kind of the authentic version, um, I'll go to a close up and show you a way of playing the intro, which is not exactly the same as the recorded version, but pretty close. And it's this. Which, you know. You know, it might not sound exactly the same, but even still, it's a great intro to learn because it's good to have some intros for some blues. So uh, let's go to a close-up and check out how to play that. Okay, we're starting here with the third finger on the fourth fret of the second string and sliding it up one fret. Little finger goes underneath on the thinnest string and then back to the fifth fret on the second string. Then second finger's going to go down the fourth fret, second string. We play that, the second string, thinnest string, and then back to the second string. First finger is going in the third fret of the second string. And then first finger has got to stretch all of the way down to the second fret with little finger still there up in the fifth fret. Again. And then it's an E7. Could be that one, you could use that E7. 
doesn't really matter. So the way that we've just gone through is what I would recommend for a beginner guitar player. But after you've finished the beginner's course and you want to come back to it and play it just like the record, you have to put the capo on the fifth fret and you would use what we're going to learn as the chunker chunker. But remembering of course our D chord down here in the open position would be the A chord here at the fifth fret. So we'd start with an A chunker chunker. So the chords have changed, yeah? You're not going to keep playing the D grip because D grip with a capo will become A chord, right? So a great little kind of thing for you to do would be have a go at see if you can transfer all of those chords from that open position up here. Add your chunker chunker. You're going to be using E chunker chunker chunker, A chunker chunker, a B7 chord. You're not going to try and you could do, but it's not that on the record. It's just a regular B7. But there's also a bit of F, sh uh, well, F sharp 7 relative to the capo. Actually, actual pitch of B7, uh, so at the seventh fret. So that chord creeps in there as well. Um, but have a, have a look at it, because you'll find that it's kind of, it's easier. It sounds pretty easy to get this one authentic like the record, like exactly like the record, you know. And uh, most of the, the, the solo is kind of all kind of open position with the capo. Those kind of licks, a little bit of... And the intro. <laughs> Just one finger. Sliding, that's the uh, third fret to fourth fret, thinking with the capo, in reality the eighth fret to ninth fret. But... Sliding it up, open thinner string, open second string. B7. Just a good, it's a good fun tune, this one. I remember learning this in my early teens and thinking it was just a fabulous fun to play. So I uh, hope you have a lot of fun playing it too. Remember, if you're a beginner, stick with that simple stuff first. You know, it's, it's important to uh, let your playing develop and not to try and do the hard stuff too early. But I'd really like to give uh, in these lessons a place for you to go with it so you, you kind of know uh, how you can progress with the song and it doesn't just remain a beginner's song forever, you know. Uh, have fun with that and I'll see you for another lesson very soon. Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.